When I stroll on the seashore, I always remember the story told to me by my great-grandfather when I was young. It was about a young man who is now a saint, and once a student, catechist, young migrant, missionary, a faithful friend, and a martyr, Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pedro Colonsod was just one of the boy catechists who went with some Spanish Jesuit missionaries from the Philippines to the Landrones Islands in the Western Pacific in 1668 to evangelize the Chamorros. Life in Landrones was hard. The provisions for the mission did not arrive regularly. The jungles were too thick to cross. The cliffs were very stiff to climb. And the islands were frequently visited by devastating typhoons. Despite all these, the missionaries persevered and the mission was blessed with many conversions. But very soon, a Chinese quack named Choco, envious of the prestige that the missionaries were gaining among the Chamorros, started to spread the talk that the baptismal water of the missionaries was poisonous. And since some sickly Chamorro infants who were baptized died, many believed the calumniator and eventually apostatized. The evil campaign of Choco was readily supported by the Makanhas and the Uritaos who, along with the apostates, began persecuting the missionaries. Pedro and his superior Padre Diego came to the village of Tom Home. They were told that a baby girl was recently born in the village. So they went to ask the child's father, named Matapang, to bring out the infant for baptism. He angrily refused to have his baby baptized. Padre Diego and Pedro gathered the children and some adults of the village at the nearby shore. They invited Matapang to join them, but the apostate shouted back that he was angry with God and was already fed up with the Christian teachings. Determined to kill the missionaries, Matapang went away and tried to enlist in his cause another villager named Hirao, who was not a Christian. At first, Hirao refused, mindful of the kindness of the missionary towards the natives. But when Matapang branded him a coward, he got picked and so he consented. Meanwhile, during that brief absence of Matapang from his hut, Padre Diego and Pedro took the chance of baptizing the infant with the consent of the Christian mother. When Matapang learned of the baptism, he became even more furious.
He violently hurtled spears first at Pedro. The lad skirted the darting spears with remarkable dexterity. The witnesses said that Pedro had all the chances to escape because he was very agile, but he did not want to leave Padre Diego alone. Finally, Pedro got hit by a spear at the chest and he fell to the ground. Hirao immediately charged towards him and finished him off with a blow of a cut lass on the head. Padre Diego gave Pedro the sacramental absolution. After that, the assassins also killed Padre Diego. Hirao and Matapan dragged them to the edge of the shore, the stones to their feet, large, brought them on a proa to sea, and threw them into the deep. The remains of the martyrs were never to be found again. Though he died and was never seen again, Saint Pedro will always be remembered by his co-missionaries to be a boy with very good dispositions, a virtuous catechist, a faithful assistant, a good Catholic, whose perseverance in faith, even to the point of martyrdom, proved him to be a good soldier of Christ. Saint Pedro Calungsod, student, catechist, young migrant, missionary, faithful friend, martyr. You inspire us by the fidelity in times of adversity by your courage in teaching the faith in the midst of hostility, and by your love in shedding your blood for the sake of the gospel. Make our troubles your own, and intercede for us before the throne of mercy and grace, so that, as we experience the help of heaven, we may encourage to live and proclaim the gospel here on earth. Amen. Ganyan ang kuya Pedro ko 